To build moving shapes, we need a ruler, some cardboard, a pencil, some scissors, colored markers, and simple clips. The first thing to do is to draw and cut out some rectangles 3 cm wide and 15 cm tall. The number of rectangles depends on which shape we want to make. 3 for a triangle, 4 for a square, etc. In this case, we have cut out three identical rectangles. We pierce them with the help of the tip of a pencil or with our scissors. We measure the distance from the end of the rectangles using our finger. We connect the rectangles with the simple clips. We've made a triangle. We can observe that it cannot move. To allow more movement, we have to add a side, creating a square. We can now have fun moving the creation and exploring what shapes it can become. In this case, it is a rhombus. To obtain a greater movement, we draw a rectangle 3 cm longer, making it 18 cm tall. We cut it out and pierce it. We measure a point in the middle of this long rectangle and cut it out into two equal parts. We can now make the holes in this rectangle. We can now connect them with the clips. We've got a square and we can move it in different direction and find which are, and find out which shapes it might form a rhombus a scaling trapezoid an isosceles triangle a pentagon etc here we have created a rectangle we didn't cut the long sides in the middle but we have cut them on another point of our like we now have fun discovering what are the shapes that are that the rectangle transforms into an hexagon, a trapezoid, another type of trapezoid, a triangle. Children can enjoy moving shapes in different ways and often discovering geometric figures that adults would not immediately find. We can now decorate our shapes using our imagination. To make two faces, in addition to the first materials, we'll need glue and colored sheets of paper. We draw the beak of the animal that we want to make. We cut it out and use it to draw three identical ones.
In this case, we chose to draw a pink and a blue beak. We glued them at two different connections, which are the eyes of the animal, and decorated the shapes as we liked. Now, we can have fun moving it in different direction and discovering two faces, one with a beak closed and one with a beak opened, depending on how we move it. In this case, we have drawn and cut only one beak and we have attached it to our shape using the clips. We have also drawn the eye. Moving the shape, the beak opens and closes, giving life to many stories that children can create themselves.